when our pets act strangely, it's hard not to wonder what they're sensing. Just like in this scary video where a cat's unyielding attention to something just out of our view becomes pretty unsettling to its owner. The cameraman's curiosity grows, but the answer might be more chilling than expected. Take a look. Although it happens really quickly, if you look just hard enough, you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure creepily peeking from the right hand side of the door. Since we can't get a clear view, it's safe to assume that it could just be one of his buddies teasing his cat. But the way the cat stared at whatever it was seeing was enough to send a chill down his owner's spine. Could it be evidence of shadow people or just someone falling around? Let us know your thoughts. A clothing store in Peru becomes the setting for a chilling event that made national headlines. But what could be caught on camera at stupid o'clock that caused such a stir? Let's watch. What looks like a little creature was caught sprinting back and forth within the store in the wee hours when no one was expected to be there. But that's not even the scary part. When the workers resumed that morning, they found that everything in the store was out of place, like someone had ransacked the store. Yet there were no signs of a forced entry. Was this a ghost child or a leprechaun? Or maybe a worker forgot to take their child home and the child was having a field day in the store but it's hard to look past the supernatural on this one, as it was even reported on the news. Could we have missed something? Let us know what you think. How long could you handle living in a haunted house where things go bump in the night like this? While no context was added, there are plenty more creepy videos around the web showing the same kind of phenomenon. Surely they can't all be fake, right? Check out this one uploaded to YouTube by Doctor Who. The guy who captured this one appears to be absolutely terrified, adding some credibility to the footage, especially when we can't see anything around the door handle to make it shake the way that it is. But this one, uploaded by X Paranormal, takes the creepy factor to a whole new level. Thank <laughs> you. 
These clips are definitely spooky. And if they're real, poor people having to deal with it all. But paranormal clips centered around doors tend to get a lot of skeptical comments brimming with attempted debunks. Fishing wire is the most common theory. There are a few instances in the second clip where the quality of the footage is so blurry we wouldn't be able to tell if anything's attached to the door handle, even if we'd squinted. Which we did, for the record. And it's not a wild idea to assume that the other two clips could easily have subtle jump cuts before they open the door with all that camera movement. But the real question is, what if it is in fact real? What if these poor people can't afford to move out and have to take all this creepy rattling and banging on the chin? What would you do? Let us know. Often taking time to work late at night in his studio, this guy began sensing he wasn't alone. He swore he could hear voices outside and felt somebody touching his back while in a bathroom stall. But then he caught this on camera, killing every single bit of skepticism he had left. Hello? Bet you missed it, didn't you? Right after he hears the bathroom door slam, he runs past the stairway and briefly catches what looks like a face staring at him from around the wall. The spookiest thing about this clip is that the only paranormal footage he caught was less than a second long, and he didn't even react at the time. Also, how the hell is that thing up there? That's about 10 foot tall. It looks like the face of a boy though, but if it was a boy, how would it be so high up on that staircase? From what we could gather from the comments of this video, the guy moved studios straight after this, and we can't say we blame him. What would you do if you checked the CCTV camera footage of your restaurant first thing in the morning, only to find this? This restaurant surveillance footage comes from a business built in former military barracks located in Liberty Station, San Diego. Those who've been to Liberty Station would agree that this is very likely to be an apparition caught walking into the restaurant. You see, this place is considered one of the most haunted places in San Diego. And if you're wondering about the jump cut in the video, look at the timestamps. It's not a jump cut. He's rewinding the footage to where the figure appears and then going back again to that moment. Sure, it could be fake, but what if it isn't? What if this is the reason why everyone talks about spooky happenings in Liberty Station? Creepy, right? According to Brandon Awadis, his dog always gets in bed and lays down with no fuss. But that night, something seemed to be bothering him. It's super weird right now. He literally refuses to go to bed. He will not go in my room. Look. He just keeps staring like at that door or over there. Bro, there's nothing. What are you looking at, Buck? What? It's late, guys. Look. It's 12.55. It's, it's almost 1 in the morning. It's nighttime. It's dark. Look, look. He refuses to go to bed. What? What's over here? Bro, he literally is trying to go in every single room except my Look, he's, he's looking out every window. He's trying to go everywhere except the room we go to bed. Watch, he's not going to go in. Look, look, that's where we sleep. He's trying to go in every room. He goes in every room. What, Buck? Nah, stop being like this. Come 
come on, let's go to sleep. Bro, why doesn't he want to come in the room? I don't get it. He's going in the bathroom. Look, he will not go in this room. This little dude just does. Look, look, look. He literally will not go in the room. I don't get it. We sleep in there every night. Look, and now he's back to staring out the door. Now he's back over here. Yo, what's going on, buddy? Come on. Let's go to sleep. Where are you go? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, are you serious right now? After a little while, he leads Brandon down the stairs, much to his dismay, and heads towards the security cameras, which is when the penny drops. Yo, who is that? There's a car parked outside. Yo, yo. Okay, the door's locked. There's someone staking out the house. Now that's terrifying enough during the day, but at stupid o'clock? Damn right, petrifying. Hence why there was soon a fire poker added into the mix. Ready for anything, Brandon walks to the garage and decides to use some good old fashioned horror movie logic. Guys, their high beams are on. Guys, I don't know what the f I'm supposed to do. I don't know what the f I'm supposed to do right now. He's lucky the car pulled out of the driveway instead of trying anything else. Running back inside, he follows his dog all the way back up to the bed where he lies down absolutely fine. While this story might not be a paranormal punch in the face, it goes to show just how intelligent our fairy friends can be. As Brandon said in the video, he has no idea how long that car was outside for, but his dog had been trying to tell him for over an hour. Even more interestingly, the reason his dog was able to tell something wasn't right could have been because of his incredible sensitivity. Dogs can pick up on the slightest change in frequency and even pick up on the scents of different hormone levels, meaning he could probably smell the stalkers before they even pulled up. Sure, Brandon Awardis is a content creator, so there is always a chance this could have just been one of his video ideas. On the other hand, we all know how crazy stalkers can grow attached to content creators too. We've all heard the stories. But if it was one of his pals outside, why would his dog be so agitated by someone he had met before? Either way, let's just be glad that this video didn't turn into a scene from The Strangers. In the busy streets of an undisclosed city, a CCTV camera captured some creepy footage that will make you doubt our reality. Take a look. A man was seen coming out of what must be some sort of invisible teleportation portal in broad daylight. Or so you'd think, right? Well, the thing is, if you look closely at the sidewalk to the left, you'll notice it's shifted slightly too. Did you catch it? Almost as if the video was edited, but what were they trying to hide? Although we can never prove for a fact that there's software masking at play here, we can assume. And what we assume is that the man was likely edited out of the video and only returned when he crossed over to the walkway. But what do you think? Debunked? Or maybe it wasn't an editing glitch? Maybe it was an actual glitch in the Matrix? Whatever tickles your pickles, but be sure to let us know in the comments. UFO sightings will always be a hot topic online, with groups dedicated to either side of the cause, and these next few clips we're about to show you are no exception. Many people have come together to either certify or debunk them, so let's take a trip down the extraterrestrial lane together, shall we? Two people caught this video on what appears to be a Facebook Live video in Hertfordshire in the UK, and they had never seen anything quite like it. 
Is that a shooting star? No, it's not. It's going up and down. What is that? That's not a plane. What is that? That can we run? Run? Run hang that on, way? Hang on. What on earth is that? Someone that's shooting out in front of it now. There's yeah. two of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, guys, you are looking. I don't know what you're looking at, but they're, they're UFOs. If ever there's an unidentified flying object, that's that. Can, that. can we go that way? Can we go that way? There's two of them flying next to each other. That oh my god, you guys, I don't think you realise how lucky you are to even witness something like this. Look at them. Oh my god. What is that? Can I quickly go that way a bit? Yeah, go where you want, mate. I'm running over. But I'm on the golf course. Can I try and run over like really close? That, I've never seen anything like it. Dad? Yeah? Is that a road there? Yeah. I want to go on the field because that will be right above us. Paranormal caught on camera. <laughs> this one's you. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at them, they're twirling. Can you yeah. see that? Yeah. They've gone. They've just gone into the clouds. And they're back. That can we please go to that green bit? You ain't get there, Pat. I will. I've, I've never seen it. I, honestly, I don't think you actually realise. You talk about UFOs, Simph. They know. are actual proper UFOs. There is nothing. What, what could be flying like that with those? And they're all flashing now through in the clouds. Look. Can you see that in the clouds? Yeah, yeah. Going down. Where's it gone? I've lost it. Yeah. It's back, it's back, it's back. Oh yeah? Where? Look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That clock goes back. Yeah, I'm not in the UFOs. Yes, mate, they're two UFOs. That's not a plane, that is nothing with a, a human being in it, is it? Look, look at them. Look at that. It looks flat as well, and UFOs are, like, flat. They're like, mate, they're like, almost like orbs. Massive orbs. Well, I don't know, I have no idea. They're both super bright lights with big tails. Like, it's almost like when I first saw it, I thought, no, is that like a firework or something? Yeah. And then it went down and started going up again. <clears throat> wow, look at this. A vast majority of the comments seem to be convinced that this is a UFO attempting to fly away, and not doing a very good job at it. But unlike the other unexplainable UFO clips we'll show you in a minute, after a little digging on this one, we might be able to strike it off the cards for good. Because if you look closely at the patterns left by this thing in the sky, it is extremely similar to a pyrotechnic air display. Pilots attach wingtip flares and twirl around, creating the exact same patterns found in the supposed UFO video. Turns out that one wasn't a drunken alien attempting to man the getaway vehicle, but one hell of an air show. This next one though, you won't be able to explain so easily. It was caught in Orlando, just above an airport. Bet you missed it, didn't you? On the zoom in, that looks like the textbook description of a UFO. Can't think of anything that this could be aside from some edited footage or perhaps an alien craft considering its high speed. But it still is not as creepy as this next UFO clip captured in La Plata, Argentina, where a group of people all assembled to ogle at what they all believe to be two UFOs in the sky. Están 
estoy viendo lucecita allá adelante. You can see from the video that loads of people were all under the same impression that this was a surefire sighting of the otherworldly beings. Although, if you trail your eyes down from the twin anomalies, there are two near identical parallel lights on the horizon. Is it two UFOs just chilling in the sky next to each other? Or do those ground level orbs have something to do with it? You might have seen this video before, a seemingly amazing clip of a man supposedly using the power of his mind and fingers to burn a hole through a piece of paper without even touching it. Is this guy genuinely some kind of firebender? Heck, is that even a thing? What do you think? Let us know. In broad daylight, something unusual races down a road in Paris. And no, it's not a scene from Ghost Rider, but a chilling reality caught on camera. This motorbike was seen racing down the A4 road in Paris, maintaining a straight line on its own for nearly an hour. While this could have been a bike freewheeling down the highway, why didn't it slow down as it ground against the median barrier? And the bigger question remains, where is the driver? Or did the bike manage to take itself to the highway? Perhaps it's one of Elon's latest inventions, going to pick up pizza for a delivery. However, another sighting of these rideless bikes was caught on the other side of the world. This bike makes perfect packing after also freewheeling down the road. But how come we have so many bikes running away from their owners? Is there more than meets the eye with these free spirit bikes? Or is something else going on? Share your thoughts in the comment section. This next video is definitely one that's going to make you scratch your head in utter bewilderment. It shows what appears to be a beautiful blue sky, when out of nowhere, this quiet and peaceful day turned into chaos and confusion. Take a look. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. See it? It's falling from the sky. Like it came out of space. Where'd it go? Where's the... It dropped. Oh, and see, there's people out there looking. Where'd it go? I heard a loud cry. Ever since this video was filmed and released, it has caused everyone to wonder what fell to earth here and why did military jets trounce seconds later? Is this some sort of strange cover-up of special alien technology or something of the like? To this day, nobody is really quite sure, but what do you think is going on here? Did you see the shape of that thing? Let us know your thoughts. Imagine playing the Ouija board when someone asks the dreaded question, and this happens. Do you mean that's any harm? Ah, oh, no. At first, we could easily assume his friends were playing a prank on him, 
but when everyone lifts their hands off the planchette, things take a turn to the dark side. But were they really contacting an unholy presence? Or using magnets under the table? Heck, is the Ouija board even that scary? To make our own conclusions, first we need to go back to where it all started. Picture this, late 1800s, the spiritualist movement is sweeping across America. Charles Kennard, founder of Kennard Novelty Company, sees an opportunity and seizes it. In 1901, Charles, along with Elijah Bond and his employee William Fould, both inventors, create the infamous Ouija board to suck on all that sweet paranormal trendy juice. The name Ouija, some believe it to be a blend of the French and German words for yes, which is in fact a common misconception. According to its creators, the board itself revealed the name in a session where Clarks asked a ghost to name it. He even went as far as claiming Ouija is the ancient Egyptian word for good luck. Spooky marketing strategy, right? Fold thought it was cringeworthy, so when he took over, he made sure to spread his version. A combination of the French word oi and a German ja, meaning yes. Despite its eerie reputation and greedy history, it's now a kids game owned by Hasbro, but not everyone's a fan. Religious groups criticise its use, and it's also a staple in horror stories, of course. Scientists, however, attribute the planchetta's movement to the idometer effect, a psychological phenomenon where a person makes motion unconsciously. So, with all this, what's your take? Is the Ouija board really a portal to the spirit world? Or did these guys just use some trickery and great acting skills to create a spooky video? Let us know your thoughts. When this guy took out his phone to film this fountain, he thought he was just getting a nice clip to send back to his family. But he never expected to get the spook of his life when he noticed something else was lurking beneath the water. Estoy aquí en toda la entrada de la the video itself is extremely blurry and short, so we can't properly see what happened there, but it looks like a girl with long hair popped her head up and promptly vanished afterwards. Even if this was a fake head popped up for a laugh, where did that fake head disappear to afterwards? Any idea? After years of investigating haunted places, Chrisella Luna had plenty of opportunities to risk bringing something attached to her into the once quiet home she lived in. But it's only when she started hearing strange noises that she decided to research her house's history, only to find out that the previous owner, an elderly lady, had passed away inside the house and remained there for three whole days until someone eventually found her body. One night, while home alone, Chrisella heard what sounded like somebody moaning. In an attempt to debunk this, she started recording and checked the windows to prove the sound wasn't coming from there. But as she pans the camera around, someone, or something, decides to make a creepy appearance. Take a look. Pero quería compartirlo con ustedes. Después, Después. Eh, quiero hacer un video para traer uno de los especialistas, alguien que me acompañe para ver qué es lo que hay aquí. Estamos siempre expuestos a cargar con este tipo de energías. Estoy escuchando ruidos ahí atrás. What looks like a creepy apparition can be seen walking in the background, and she didn't even notice it until she checked the footage later. The way it moves seems just like a person walking away, but could this have been the apparition of the elderly lady who passed away in the house? Or is there something Chrisella isn't telling us? Without being there to prove it, and considering the eerie vibes coming from the supposed apparition, it's hard to debunk this one. We've seen great videos from Chrisella before, which we couldn't explain either, so we'll leave this one up to you. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. This one will make you triple and quadruple check your locks. 
While just relaxing at home with her dog, this woman heard a knock at the front door, but she had no idea what was waiting for her outside. Who or what was that? In all fairness, the quality of this video is atrocious, so we wouldn't be able to see any cuts or edits in there at all. And why did she just happen to be recording at the same time with barely any proper reaction? The dog seemed a bit spooked though, but some dogs do respond like that to any knock at the door. Although the real kicker is that figure outside the window at the end. Depending on where you live, you never know what threats could be waiting for you just outside your back door. By nature or not, it's still terrifying to think about it, which is why awkwardly Cat on TikTok is so glad to have his own personal alarm system. Take a look. According to him, his dog never acts like this, especially not the growling. But the strange thing is, the smaller grey dog didn't seem to notice anything. She just joined in on the barking because she saw her older brother doing it. And when the owner did come out of the house, there was no coyote or any animal. So could his furry friend have spotted something far more sinister? Street cameras are meant to keep an eye on the living, right? But what happens when they begin to capture the dead instead? Take a look at this creepy video. What looks like a half-formed apparition can be seen emerging from behind the pole like some kind of portal before vanishing into thin air. Sure, the potato quality makes it way too easy for anyone to add some cheeky editing, but there's something particularly eerie about the nature of this footage. Doesn't it give you the willies? Could it be a real ghost sighting? Or perhaps just a lady walking and a CCTV camera glitch? Let us know what you think about this one. From doors swinging open on their own to strange growls echoing through the halls, this man's home seems to be a hotspot for paranormal activity. Each video captures a new, chilling instant that defies explanation. But are these events as paranormal as they seem? Let's find out. Why are you here? Are you ever going to leave? Are you ever going to leave? Are you ever going to leave? Are you ever going to leave me alone? Come on, answer. Are you ever 
gonna leave. What do you want? This supposed poltergeist don't like stuff staying in the same place, does it? The doors opening and closing and the kitchen appliances moving could be put down to strings and mechanisms. But why would he risk his cabinets breaking off of their hinges for a minute long YouTube clip?
There are a few of these that made us a little bit suspicious though. The doors swinging open without any movement on the handles stand out the most. And there's always a chance that the microwave could have been moved by some sort of magnet from inside the cupboard. But the thing that stands out the most to us is the video in the office. While the activity itself seems pretty solid, why does the introductory screen claim that the video was recorded on the 9th of December 2022, whereas the actual video has a date stamped on it that says it was recorded on the 9th of February 2011? What gives? Where did that video come from, and why are the timestamps wrong? Is this guy's New Mexico home haunted? Or is he compiling a clever mix of strings, magnets and fake videos together to trick us? What do you think? Let us know. While watching TV, this mother catches something unusual out of the corner of her eye. But when she checks the CCTV footage to see what happened, she's left utterly speechless. Take a look. Despite this being just one of the strange events they noticed around the house, a commenter touched on a good point. It could have just fallen into place with the movement of her legs. Although, the vast majority agreed that the object seems to be yanked, giving an extra eerie vibe to the footage. But what do you make of this video? The ghost of a child or a perfectly timed adjustment? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. After using an old house for storage and band practice, this guy started noticing strange things happening near the basement door. The odd noise or fleeting touch from someone or something when the house would be otherwise empty. He thought it was just his imagination. But when he called over a contractor to analyse some water damage, he warned him of the strange happenings anyway. The contractor laughed it off until he stepped one foot inside. He started recording because he didn't want the homeowner to think that he had thrown all of the boxes over the floor. But the spookiest thing is what happens next. Pay attention to his hair. Look at that. I swear to God, I did not do that. Hand on stack of Bibles. This was not me. And I damn sure didn't scatter it all over the dang kitchen floor. So yeah, something is absolutely going on in this place. And I, and I, I thought I heard something. I keep thinking I'm seeing something in the corner of my eye. <laughs> It's getting like really, really creepy. I mean, I don't. He claims that this was the moment he felt a tap on his shoulder and he hauled ass out of there. But did you see the way that his hair moved? It couldn't have been a draft or else the other side of his hair would have moved too. And if you look even closer at the back wall, there's something even creepier about this video. If his shadow is here, who's casting this one right next to him? but this wasn't the only strange experience that he managed to catch on camera. While recording a video to show off the extent of the water damage to the ceiling, he briefly passed the camera over the basement door area. See if you can spot what's there. Uh, as you can see, the tile is pretty much damaged. I've, we're gonna have to get some new tile, but that's, that's one spot. And then we got another spot back here, as you can see, and that's the worst spot. Bet you missed it, didn't you? It's one of those blink and you'll miss it moments. But as soon as he glides the camera past the entryway, you can see a strange dark figure peering round the corner. 
he uploaded one more video showing the area around the basement door. After hearing some knocking, he went over to see what all the commotion was, which was when he caught this. Flies. It's cold as shit out there too. There shouldn't be any flies flying around. It's too cold. It's locked. I know what I heard. I know. What the f Hello? This is fucked up, man. Fuck this. <laughs> Okay, look. They're all gone now. He explains that because he doesn't live there, the electricity was not turned on and at the time of recording, it was the beginning of December and freezing cold. So why the hell were flies mingling around inside his house? There is a chance they found a crack in the house and went to seek warmth, but when he went back in a few moments later, they had all vanished. Some people seem to think that the flies are a sign of a demon's rotting soul, or even something more sinister. There's something else rotting in that basement, and he has no idea what or who it is. His last post was on the 1st of December 2021, and we have seen no updates since. Andrew never believed in the paranormal, but when he and his friend started hearing strange noises echo through the night just outside the house, they had to investigate it. Unfortunately for them, they never expected to witness a night that would turn so terrifying, a night they will never forget. Here's the footage. I'm out in the woods. This is Andrew. I haven't actually introduced him yet, but... But, uh, but, uh, oh, there it is, there it is. You hear that? That's the noise. Eric refused to come back out after our last experience, so we've been following this noise back here. You can hear it. Okay, we just need to be quiet. We need a light. Do you see that up there? What is that? Hey, hey, do you have a light shining up there? What? Look, 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 look. Hey, look. My camera's not picking it up. No, 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 no. I, I definitely It don't. comes right here. Look, what's that red? What is this? Is that a house? That's a freaking house. It looks like There is no house on my property. I've never seen it. There's no way that this is real. Here, 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 go forward. There's no way that this is real. I have been on every square foot of my property and never seen this before. Wait, 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 wait. Be cautious. Hey, keep your knife ready. Cameras having a really hard time picking this up. Can you see anything in there? I can, I can see it. Yeah, but I don't know. Just stay quiet. If we can hear that thing in there, we'll know it's in there for sure. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Did you just hear that? Hey, 
This thing, hey, this thing has run at me before. This thing has come, this thing has come at me before. So I'm just warning you right now, stay cautious. If you see this thing, just turn around and run, all right? If it comes at you, just do whatever you can to get it off you. You can use the knife, just, is that the door? Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a definitely door. There's freaking graffiti on the walls. Nobody ever comes out on my property. Have people been coming out on my property? Sounds like a barn. What the heck is this? Are you freaking kidding me? People have been coming out on my property? How come I've never seen this house before? Look at this. How could I have never seen this before? Keep your light on. I can't see anything. I don't want my light. What does that say? Yeah! Shut up. 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 Turn off the lights. Turn off your light. Turn off your light. Just be quiet. We're gonna get up. We're gonna get up. And we're gonna walk out. We're gonna get up and we're gonna walk out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's walk out. Let's get it. Just, just go. Just go. He's gonna make a light. Shh, be quiet. If he can't hear us, it's not gonna find us. Is that? Oh, shoot, 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 just get out of the house, get out of the house, just get back to the house, just get back to the house, Jesus Christ, Jesus, Andrew was a firm skeptic and refused to believe in his friend's encounters, even after seeing all the video evidence that would prove otherwise, well, that was, until he experienced it himself. Sure, the footage is quite unsettling and eerily reminiscent of something you see ripped straight out of a found footage horror movie akin to the Blair Witch Project. And let's also not ignore the fact that their channel has a good number of videos showing the same creepy creature supposedly captured outside his house. Skeptics would probably say it's a little sus how he managed to capture this creature on camera so many times, yet we never heard about it on the news. But on the other hand, we never know how the government would react to something like this. Probably sweep it all under the rug. Whether you believe it or not though, just imagine witnessing it with your own eyes. What would you do? To this day, nobody knows what happened since they stopped uploading over 8 years ago. But what do you think that these two friends managed to record that day?
Do you believe this is video proof of the existence of the rake? Aliens? Or is this something else entirely? If so, what is it then? Let us know. Investigating a paranormal hotspot as stupid o'clock isn't particularly the brightest idea. But when these guys decided to explore an abandoned lab, ridden with blood-curdling sights and strange sounds reported by locals, they were just asking for it. Watch this. Hernando Lisset, muchísimas gracias por sus estrellas, besotes para ella. ¿Qué lo ¿Qué lo que necesitas? Oye, oye. No, qué se golpeó viste? No viste, aquí dentro está, aquí dentro está. Manifiéstate, queremos verte. ¿Eh? Allá arriba, estaba arriba. Manifiéstate. ¿Por qué estás aquí? ¿Escuchas? ¿Quién eres? ¿Estás aquí adentro? Mira, quiero pasar por allá. ¿Estás aquí adentro? Adentro del casillero está alguien. Dime, ¿estás aquí adentro? Adentro del casillero está alguien, amigos. Adentro de ese casillero está alguien. Quiero saber si estás aquí. ¿Estás aquí adentro, Cari? Mira, 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 mira. ¿Está adentro de la puerta? ¿Está adentro de la puerta? Aquí adentro de esta, de esta, de esta, de esta ventanita. ¡Estás aquí con nosotros! No manches, no manches, ¿qué es eso? Ya se volteó, mira, se volteó, se acabó de voltear. Se acabó de voltear. Se acabó de voltear, se hizo para allá, mira. Uy. Adentro está alguien, ¿eh, amigos, adentro el casillero. A ver qué es. Queremos que te manifiestes. Uy. ¿Lo escuchaste? Como que alguien está riendo, como que alguien está hablando bien fuerte. Uy, madre, ya se fue, enfrente de la cámara se cerró, enfrente de la cámara se cerró. Y enfrente de la cámara no se ve. ¿Viste? Right from the jump, they didn't quite seem up to the task, but when the cabinet right in front of them comes to life, they start regretting their decision of even stepping foot inside. Puzzled and intrigued, they investigate the cabinet a bit further. Then this happens. Como que alguien está riendo, como que alguien está hablando bien fuerte. As they look to try and figure out what was shaking the cabinet, it slammed shut in their faces, making their blood run cold. After witnessing this, the lead investigator wanted to pack it up for the day, but the others suggested they checked out the other room, and boy, did they wish they hadn't. After seeing the door move, we'd expect a paranormal investigator to swoop in to prove there was no one inside. But god damn it, he had to wait, didn't he? And while at it, we spotted at least three jump cuts. Here at 452. Here at 544. And here at 614. So, if whoever was inside didn't have enough time to escape through the window, the jump cuts would definitely give them any time they needed to get out. And when we begin to sense some foul play, this happens. Oi! What was that? Oi! 
Y la ventana, Chavi. Mira, esto es una cara, mira, esto es una cara, mira. Pero aquí la ventana, amigos. Pero que tengo un adero, miren. Aquí tengo un adero. They heard the window move, and upon checking, there was no way someone could have moved it, right? Their story seems airtight, but they made one mistake that might throw their credibility out the window, and you bet we spotted it. Watch closely. First, let's consider the hole in the ceiling above the cabinet which they could have had someone climb into. Now, let's check again every time the cabinet moves. What a coincidence. Every single time it moved, the top of the cabinet remained out of frame. Funnily enough, almost as if someone put their hands through the hole off camera, moved the cabinet from the top, and quickly hid again out of view by the time we could see the whole cabinet again. I think it's time to rest our case here especially after spotting this fake-ass actor at 8.33. Oi! What was that? Oi! Look at the window, Javi! Look, there's a face, look, there's a face! Look at the window, friends. But there's a window. What else did you notice that we might have missed? Let us know in the comments section. Marty McFly and Doc predicted that the future would have flying cars back in the 80s. Not sure if this is quite what they meant. What's more frustrating, coming back to your car being stolen or it hovering about five foot off the ground? The guy in this video certainly didn't seem to be a big fan of his suspended vehicle. This video seems a bit too good to be true though, not just the guy's reaction, which seems a bit staged, but the car's shadow also seems a bit laggy, and how convenient is that full beam light blinding us all to potentially hide a steel cable or something? Or is this a video of aliens doing around one third of an abduction? What do you think? A Spanish fashion journalist uploaded an unsettling video on TikTok that left her viewers absolutely terrified. She got the footage from her mum, who claims that the security guard at her workplace captured something on camera that sent shivers down everyone's spine. But was it really paranormal activity caught on camera? Before our deep analysis, let's watch the footage. According to the security guard on shift that night, the motion-activated CCTV cameras captured a lady moaning and crying, so he decided to record it with his phone. After watching it, his friends and family believed he caught Le Llorona on camera, the weeping woman of Latin American folklore, who died from sorrow after she drowned her children in a lake. Racked with guilt and grief over what she did, she's believed to wander the streets of Mexico sobbing and looking for new children to take. As creepy and as fitting to the legend of Le Llorona as this video is, there's always the chance this could be someone playing a prank on the workers. But there seems to be something a little fishy about this footage, so after some digging, we found a heap of videos claimed to have spotted her, but this one, in particular, left us very suspicious. See if you guess why.
Did you get it? Listen carefully to both videos. Did you notice that both clips have the same audio? Perhaps this is just the noise Lorona makes every time, like a broken record, but that seems a little too convenient, doesn't it? Almost as if people are using the same audio to fake their paranormal videos. Paula, who admits to having little knowledge of video editing, is convinced that the footage is genuine. She even gets a savvy friend to verify it, and he's stumped. He can't find any signs of tampering, but maybe the security guard got someone to dress as the weeping woman and added the audio on top of his spooky footage. I guess we'll never know exactly what happened here unless we're there to prove it. But what do you think? Could there be any innocent explanation as to why the audio sounds exactly the same in both clips? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The Indian school in this scary video echoes whispers of paranormal events witnessed by both students and staff, but this one incident involving a possessed girl took the creepiness factor to a whole new level. Take a look. How in the fresh hell did she manage to defy gravity? Sure, it does look like an epileptic seizure, but the way she seemed to levitate for a brief moment just didn't look right. The guys were trying to prevent her from hitting her head, but none of them seemed to be pulling her body that high in the air. The comments section was filled with paranormal believers and even skeptics struggling to find an explanation for this one. Many claimed she'd been possessed by something sinister, but one thing worth noting was how everyone looked shocked when her body jolted up. What could have gripped her so hard that it baffled the entire class, including the teacher? Any idea what's going on here? Let us know your take on this one. Here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.